Guys, what's up? Jojo, I'm back for another review. Uh, this time, we're doing something local here in Arizona. Um, it's called Rune Vapor. R-U-N-E. RuneVapor.com. Give them a little plug here. All right, there's some information. RuneVapor.com. Jeff Peterson and Bhakti Iyata. Right there, I think they're the ones that are doing all this fabulous juice making right here in the valley. Okay, we got three flavors uh, to take care of today. The neat thing about uh, what I've seen so far is Rune Vapor. Um, these guys are definitely vapor mixologists, and here's why. With the juices that came, also came these little labels. So there's Lilith, Salty Dog right there, and then Viking Tobacco. And I guess these stickers are for your tanks. If you want to distinguish what you've already preloaded in your tanks, that way you don't have to uh, wait, wash out a tank, put a new coil. If it's already set, you got a flavor for uh, a taste for one of the flavors, go at it. You can put one of these stickers on it. You know exactly what's in there, okay? So right now, I'm going to do all three from Rune Vapor. Um, I kind of have an outline to go by today uh, that they were considerate enough to ask EP if he would go through uh, each one of these categories. Um, if you're any serious vapor at all, you know that one of the best ways, again, to get the best flavor out of your juice, drip it. Drip the juice. If you're dripping it, you're just getting flavor. Now, most of the best flavor comes from um, less ingredients. You got some of those people out there that try to overcomplicate it. If you got nicotine 50-50 with BGPG, blend it however you like, but when you drip it, you really bring out the best of the flavor. So what I'm going to start with is I think I'm going to go with the Salty Dog. Okay, With the Salty Dog, right away I can tell you what they're bottling. This is a 15 milliliter bottle. It's that dark blue color. I know that they understand juice by looking at this bottle. Because if you make your own juice, you manufacture it, you know that one of the worst things to, to affect your juice, UV lights, right? Sunlight, that's terrible. That's why I'm doing a day review with these. I like the blue bottles, and I'll tell you what, that's going to keep your juice fresh. Now, you can't see it through there, so they've added that neat little feature. Whoa, eyedropper. You can drip that stuff just like that. Makes it really easy if you're like me. And you're a dripper, right? You want to drip it. So, first things first, let's look at it. Nice, yellowish, amber, um, caramel looking flavor. And if you can see it dripping, right? Let's show you here. You can see it dripping. It's not real wet, not real watery. So I imagine um, there's not too many chemicals in there. There's not a mix of uh, crappy stuff that's going in there. But the color's great. Um, second thing, I think you should smell it, right? Take a sniff of your juice. Mmm. It smells good. It's got an edgy, fresh, unique flavor. Excuse me, unique smell to it. Almost, almost a liquor smell to it, right? Let's put some on here. Not sure if it's a liquor smell, but I like what I'm smelling. Can't tell if it's like a bourbon or... Uh, whiskey or something, maybe some passion fruit or something, but there it is. Let's see what happens. Does it have a plume? You tell me. <laughs> There's a cloud there, right? I'm at 0.9 ohms. So, no, I don't have to work much at a cloud. Fully charged battery. Nice drip system here, 0.9 ohms. Um, I'm tasting uh, a passiony fruit. Um, I taste, you know, taste is a little subjective, and then your coils and the, uh, the machinery you're using, uh, the device. Um, there's a couple different layers of uh, fruit, sweet, um, a little salty, <laughs> salty dog, right? You get a little sweet, a little salty, not real floral in a sense, but there's a 
Let me just tell you, that's an all-day vape. And why I say that is it's intriguing. It's an edgy flavor. It's intriguing. Um, throat hit, not a bad throat hit at all. I like 6 milligram. These came in 6 milligram. Um, if you like more of a throat hit, I'm sure you can order the 6, 12, 18, 24 standard Nick levels. This one's just right. You can get a nice big cloud. Medium to mild throat hit with a 6 Nick. So it's not going to kick you real bad if you like those uh, um, higher nicotine levels. Order it, right? Order it. They're at R-U-N-E Vapor, uh, dot com. Rune Vapor dot com. Salty Dog, I'm going to give it a thumbs Thumbs up, two thumbs up, 15 clouds up, whatever. Salty dog, good stuff. I'm digging that. It's different. Um, you know, and if you're manufacturing or crafting juices, you know that pioneering a flavor, something that's unique, that's going to intrigue people and make them keep coming back, don't overdo it. That's not overdone. It's just got that very unique, fruity, salty, berry, passion fruit flavor to it, but it's not overdone. Something that you can put in a tank. Something that you can drip just like I did. I'm digging that. Thumbs up on that one. Number two, let's go to the Lilith. Lilith, six milligram, 15 milliliter bottle. Same thing, blue bottle, right? Let's take it out, take a look at the color. What kind of color we got? Ooh, golden, golden color. Drips nice and easy, right? Good dripper there, especially for you guys that like to drip. Ooh, that's strong. Full flavored type smell to that. All right. Almost smells. Mm, not going to say. Not going to say just yet. I'm smelling a coffee flavor. I'm smelling that cafe coffee. Right. Let's try it. This one, again, um, Lilith. Mmm, very bold flavor, very bold flavor. Um, I'm going to step out on a limb here because I think Lilith may be a tobacco. Um, why I say that, there's a lot of complexity going on in the flavors, a little bit more of a throat hit, but it's an enjoyable throat hit um, with a lot of flavors dancing on, on my, my throat there. I'm getting tobacco, I'm getting a little bit of that coffee flavor. Um, no effervescence that you, 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 you hear with other juices, kind of like this. Um, exquisite flavor. It says it on the bottle. Very unique. It's a bold flavor. It's definitely true. Bold flavor. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, if you like a full flavor, um, that's going to leave you thinking about what you're tasting every time. No aftertaste on both of these either. Let me tell you that. Aftertaste is important. If you're just overdoing the juice, you're going to have something left on the back of your throat, something that might turn you off. So far, so good. Um, this is a tobacco, and I think it's great. Um, it's mild. It definitely could be an all-day vape. Again, dripping it, great flavor. Um, no bad aftertaste, lots of cloud. Boom. Good stuff. So, that leaves us left with Viking Tobacco. Viking Tobacco. And me personally, we all have our favorites. My favorite is bakery, man. I'm a big guy. I like sweet stuff, right? Come on. So, when it comes to tobaccos, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. So, for me, these tobaccos have to be spot on. If I'm going to vape something that tastes like um, a fine cigar... Um, an upper-end cigarette, something that's uh, worth buying, it's got to come through with flavor. I don't know how you guys are, but again, let's start off with presentation. Bottle, 15 milliliter, blue, UV protecting bottle. Color, it's a little lighter than the other two, right? It's probably the lightest color. It's very thick, very thick, not watery whatsoever. Pulls up pretty quickly. doesn't drip unless you're squeezing the dropper, right? Oh, that. Mmm, that's got a good smell to it. 
That's got a good smell to it. And you know what? I've been doing these reviews for a little bit. Not very long. I was turned on to juice by EP, and I think I got spoiled because how I got turned on to this, I jumped pretty much right into dripping. And I think of vaping like sushi. The very first time, if you like sushi, that you're introduced to it, seems like from then on is the exact same way that you were shown how to eat sushi or introduced to it is the same way you continue. Same with vaping. I got uh, introduced to vaping dripping, and I appreciate that because I love the shit out of dripping. I love vaping. I love everything about it, um, and I love the fact that you guys hopefully are just like me and you don't smoke anymore. Why would you smoke cigarettes when you have so many options of great juice, uh, manufactured flavors, um, and a lot of independence to do to do uh, with this juice, whatever you like. So, let's give this a shot. This is Viking Tobacco. Whoa! Nice cloud. Nice cloud. And I'm working off of a pretty clean coil there too. See that? Boom. You just burn this off. You know how coils work. Another try here. Wow. That's a clean, clean tobacco. Um, no aftertaste. Very complex flavor. When I say complex, um, this tastes like a dense, rich uh, tobacco. Um, I think these are pre-steeped a little, a little while before they send them out because you can tell, uh, depending on the the texture of the juice, the way it drops from the dripper into the bottle, or the way it drops onto your um, your coils. But this is good for a six nick. Uh, six nick. I'm going to call this medium um, throat hit. It's there. It's um, a better throat hit than I'm used to, which for me is satisfying. More throat hit means. I don't have to vape so much, but I love vaping, so it re regardless, I'm going to vape a lot. Viking Tobacco. Boom. There you go. Viking Tobacco. Um, this is nice. Uh, all three of these juices are very unique in the sense that, A, they're from Arizona. You get them pretty quick. Um, they're packaged well. Droppers are always nice. That gives you a little bit more freedom to uh, be cleaner when you're loading these up. Um, all three of these here are going to give you something different. Lilith, um, very nice, distinct, unique, something that I haven't tasted very often, but it's good. Very good. Salty dog, exactly like they say. You're getting a sweet flavor, uh, a saltiness, uh, a passion fruit, sweet edginess um, into, that, uh, into the taste. Um, none of these, no aftertaste. For you tobacco lovers, Viking Tobacco is right there. Viking Tobacco has a lot of great flavor. Tastes like a, a concentrated, um, good inhale from a nice, um, expensive cigar. But it's vapor. You're not getting smoke. So, I like them all, man. I like them all. This was great. This was nice for me to do. And again, I did it today in the daytime because I'm always doing night reviews. But you know what? You got blue UV protectant bottles here. Keeps your juice fresh. Juices like this, though, if you're going to enjoy them, 15 milliliters, you better buy something bigger. These are all three all-day vapes. These are all three that I'm sure uh, are going to be gone pretty quick. Um, hopefully, maybe we'll get some more and test out some more of their flavors. AZ, way to represent juice manufacturing. Rune Vapor, right here. Rune Vapor, R-U-N-E, vapor.com. Uh, guys? I've enjoyed these, but what I've realized too is that there's only so much time in a day. Vape it your way, and if you like these juice reviews, look down there where it says subscribe. Underneath that, there you go. Hit that button, subscribe, and we'll talk again. Boom!